right, so we're the day before open house day. The home is finally done. Super excited to show you guys the finished product and exactly what we got here. So some of the things you're gonna notice on the outside, we did some new landscaping with new mulch, some rocks here. We took out a, a palm tree that was over here. One of the biggest things, it was actually a minor thing to do, but it makes the, one of the biggest appearances on the outside. We painted this brick white, so it gives it a, a nice pop of color, really good curb appeal. We think buyers are really gonna like that. So let's come on inside. So one of the most dramatic things that you're gonna notice about this house is that we took out this wall that was in the middle here. So originally there was a wall that went from here to the center of the room and another one that came from this side to the center. So there was just a little narrow doorway and you had to walk through that doorway to get to the dining room and then if you wanted to go to the kitchen, you had to walk like this to get into the kitchen where it opened up again. So we took out the walls. It didn't really add any square footage, but it made it feel a lot more open, which is a big deal. Yet that open floor plan, which is what a lot of buyers are really looking for now. We replaced the chandelier in the dining room to make it a little more modern, and we redid the kitchen. So let's come on to the kitchen. So in the kitchen, we went with white shaker cabinets. We went with black handles and black accents. So we think the black sink and the black faucet and all the black hardware we think that's a, a different look. A lot of people go with the classic stainless steel. Um, so we, we like it, it's a little more modern um, and it's, it's different than what everyone's doing. We also went with Frigidaire, slightly higher end appliances because buyers really notice stuff like that. The, the, the more name brands, the higher end little finishes like that really go a long way as far as getting buyers to pay the price that you want when you're not putting in cheap, cheap stuff. This area back over here, originally in the floor plan, this was the family room. So it's kind of too small to be a family room for today, but it gives a buyer a lot of opportunity to choose what they want it to be. It could be an eat-in kitchen area, you could make it a home office, you could continue to extend the kitchen and build it out, make a bar, you know, there's a lot of opportunities there, and it lets the buyer really choose what they want to make it. So originally, this hallway door wasn't here. The original doorway to get to that hallway was right here through the dining room, and we felt that sitting in your dining room, being able to look into your master bedroom and into your second bedroom was probably not ideal. So we moved the hallway from here over this way. Now, the previous buyer, they had this set up as like a one bedroom suite and a one bedroom suite. So this hallway wasn't even really here. We had to recreate this hallway, which was part of the original floor plan. And we had to rebuild this whole bedroom, all the closet space here. So we rebuilt this bedroom and we redid this bathroom completely. So we went with the gray hexagon tile. Uh, we did subway tile up the wall of the shower. We fixed the, the, uh, the tub and we put this black marble countertop. Uh, we think that's a, a nice accent, really modern, continues the black accents throughout. Uh, so we think buyers are really gonna like that. So we redid the master bedroom as well. Um, the closet had one of those weird chain lights that you pull into it. So we installed real lighting in there, uh, a little bit uh, better updated there. And we redid the entire master bathroom. We went with a marble look tile. It has still the same white shaker countertop, white quartz counters in the sh uh, master bathroom. And then we continued the uh, marble tile all the way up with, again, the hexagon tile on the floor of the shower, just to give it a cool, cool different look with a brand new frameless glass shower door. So we really redid just about every inch of the inside of this house. The whole thing was completely redone. So all these screens on the patio were all torn. This, whole, this screen basically needed to be completely redone. So we redid the whole screen. Uh, we repainted any of the, the beams and the bars here that needed to be repainted, put on a new door here. And we did a lot of landscaping that you're probably not gonna be able to see, but we did some new landscaping. We had to redo the entire sprinkler system. So it wasn't working. The sprinkler pump was ancient. Uh, we had to put some new sod in. So we had to have sprinklers. Otherwise, a lot of the new grass is gonna die. And it's just one of those annoying things that buyers, you know, they don't wanna come in and rip up the yard to install sprinklers, so we did it for them. So we really redid the whole yard here. It probably still needs a privacy fence. You know, there's a few little things that the next buyer is gonna to wanna to choose to do, but we left that for them. We didn't wanna obviously spend too much money, but we didn't wanna pick out a certain type of fence. Maybe they like the PVC fence over here, maybe they like a wooden fence. So we left them with the opportunity to pick their finishes on the, the little things that are left to do in this house. But overall, 
brand new roof. Yesterday we found out we had to redo the entire AC, so we have a brand new AC system, literally installed 24 hours before the open house. Uh, everything, floors, kitchens, bathrooms, landscaping, it's all redone. So this is really a rebuilt house. The next buyer is not gonna have very much to do at all. We're super excited to bring this to the market to the open house tomorrow, and I can't wait to show you all the people that we're, we know are gonna be lined up to see this. All right, so we had the open house yesterday. We had 36 different groups of people come through the open house. It was a really, really, really big, successful open house. We had lines of people out the door, obviously keeping our social distance and all that. Um, but we were able to get multiple offers on this property in just one day. We accepted a contract and we signed it last night with a buyer. It's a very, very nice young couple. They're willing to pay us $5,000 over our asking price. And in the event that the property doesn't appraise, they're going to pay us $10,000 over the appraised value. So they really love the house. They're super excited. We're thrilled as sellers. Everyone is very, very happy. There's just not a lot for sale on the market right now, especially in this price range, to find something that's completely updated with a brand new roof. Everything has warranties, the whole thing. It's very, very rare. So everyone's excited. We're making out really well. This was a very, very exciting and fun flip. We potentially have another one coming up in the first few months of uh, 2021. So stay tuned. Maybe we'll have more videos on that. Uh, but if you have any questions about the real estate market here in South Florida, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. And if you're watching this, make sure you like and subscribe to all of our pages. You can follow us at on YouTube at youtube.com slash Andy Mandel Remax on Facebook, facebook.com slash Mandel Team Remax and instagram.com slash Mandel Team Remax. Thanks. We'll see you soon.